What is up guys and girls, it's me GameShark and welcome back to another video. So, today I have another upcoming farming game that I want to show you guys. And I personally think I may have found the best, most exciting upcoming farming RPG game ever made. And that's no exaggeration. And yes, I know I've made tons of videos on my channel over the recent months introducing new upcoming farming games and I've even made one very recently of the ones that I am most looking forward to for next year. And on that specific video, a new game got brought to my attention from a couple of you guys. And the game I am talking about is called RE Legend or Re Legend. But a few of you guys told me to check this game out because you think that I would really like it. And some of you were kind of upset that it wasn't even on my top 5 list on that video in the first place. But guys, honest to god, I never knew this game even existed. I had no idea that this was in development, which is pretty sad. I had never heard of it, never seen no trailers or introductions to this game. And I am so glad that I finally actually know now. Because this game looks incredible. And most of you already know about this and probably heard it. But for the people that don't, let me talk about it in today's video in greater detail and I'll give you some information about this game. So, ReLegend is a co-op simulation RPG game which is coming to PC. PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch is also planned. This new upcoming game is an all-encompassing RPG simulator hybrid with strong monster raising and multiplayer features. You can tame and raise magical creatures which are called Magnus and you can venture out into the world of Etia. You can farm, craft, rebuild the village and enjoy much more activities alone or with friends. This game was put on the Kickstarter with a simple goal of $70,000 in order to develop the game and make it a reality. And within one month they reached their goal and it now has a 900% goal completion. 900% and now to this day they have a total pledged amount of $630,700 which is incredible. So many people have backed this game already, it's so popular with the people, people are talking about it, people are excited about this game, this game's already winning awards and it's not even released yet. It's going to be huge on release and it is coming very soon. It has everything that we want in the game. It kind of reminds me of Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley and Pokemon with the whole creature collection and taming but also a little bit of Final Fantasy. But before I do get into the main features, let me tell you a little bit about RE Legend, the story. So you are washed ashore on Voka Island without any memories. You must start a brand new life and find ways to recover your lost memories. And in order to do so, you must first learn how to survive on this island by cultivating the land, befriending villagers and expanding the village and raising your own magical creature, which are known as Magnus. You can venture around the land of Etia where Voka Island resides to reclaim your memories is no easy task as the world is filled with dangerous Magnus and threatening challenges. Will you be able to survive and rebuild your own legend in your new life? Your fate is in your hands. So that is the story summed up, but now let me discuss the features and reveal why this game is going to be the greatest. So firstly, Voka Village is where your new life begins. Here you can befriend the local villagers and join exciting festivals together to have a good time. Pay attention to their needs and help them out in their daily life so they can help you retrieve your lost memories. There are bachelors and bachelorettes within Voka Village that you can potentially marry. Mythical creatures, known as Magnus, roam the land of Ephia, the world where Voka Island resides. Every single Magnus is tameable, and they will aid you in many ways once tamed, such as combat, farming, fishing, traveling, and so much more. They will also grow differently depending on your care. For example, they do evolve. They have different evolutions depending on how you look after your Magnus, which is very similar to Pokemon. Practice makes perfect. You will gain living skills as you practice them frequently. They level up organically as you carry out the activities. Some examples of living skills are mining, fishing, logging, crafting, farming, weaponry and much more. Each time you carry out an activity, you will level these up until you master that skill. Cultivate the farm of Voka Island to acquire food and materials for the village or yourself. Without doubt, farming is the cornerstone of Re-Legend and it will consume the largest portion of your in-game time. This is a pure farming RPG game. 
and Vodka Island's fertile lands are perfect for crops cultivation. These crops will yield resources and ingredients which can be consumed, gift to beloved NPCs, sold for profits, used for cooking or crafting, and finally to tame a huge variety of Magnus. Crops that grow have different qualities depending on your care. You need to fertilize to boost the quality of the crops. They can grow to enormous scales in the method of cultivation and conditions are right. Obviously, the higher the rarity of the crops, the more expensive it can be sold in town. Farming is the best way you can make money from during the first year of the game. Apart from normal agriculture crops, Vodka Island also allows for cultivation of aquaculture crops, meaning you can plant crops under the water in the ocean. When you plant crops, you have to pay attention to the seasons because different crops grow in different seasons. Farming can be a very fun part of the game as you can grow your own delicious veggies and fruits on your farmland. Dive into the crystal clear water and farm to your heart content. You can have your very own fish farm and be able to keep all of the cute and awesome fishes. Smaller fish are required to be kept in the cultivation pool. Fishing can be very interesting or boring in your game depending on your style. However, fishing plays an important role in Re-Legend. The assortment of fish you can be used in a variety of ways. Cooking ingredients, a gift to a beloved NPC, stashed away in your fish farm, or even sold for extra pocket money. Obviously, the higher the rarity of the fish, the more expensive that can be sold in town too. And after all of the hard work of raising your fish and harvesting crops, what can you do with it? I bet the first thing that came into your mind was cooking. And that is correct, you will be able to unlock a pair of chefs in the game called the Chef Twins. Although they are twins, their cooking styles are totally different. Each of them has their own sets of unique recipes, so get to know the story behind them and you will be surprised. With the new chefs in town, you will be able to cook a lot of food using the fish that you've caught, crops that you've cultivated, and materials that you found during your adventure. World of Effie is filled with dangerous wildlife and combat skills are essential for survival. Wield any weapon you desire at any given time and you are not restricted by weapon classes. You can craft a huge variety of weapons and you can also mount your beloved Magnus to combat through your adventure. Whilst you can enjoy the game alone, why not share the fun with friends, carry out the activities together and share the precious memories. Re-Legend is a multiplayer game and together you shall conquer the world or just kick back and relax whilst your friends do all the work. Totally what I'll do. You can have a total number of four players per session, just like the new Stardew Valley update. So there are some of the main features that you can expect to see in Re-Legend. Of course, there are tons more features in the game that have not been revealed just yet and they are for us to find out ourselves when we play. They don't want to spoil too much, but back when this game was on the Kickstarter, it had some stretch goals, which once reached would unlock some amazing bonuses, which get added extra to the game. Well, of course, this goal got reached instantly and they unlocked every stretch goal bonus. And there is a ton that they need to add into the game, which is of course delaying the development slightly. People who have backed the game and made the pledge to get the beta and alpha access was meant to be getting that this year, sometime in June or July, but they have had to set that back a little bit longer and delay that, unfortunately, because some things have came up, but it won't be long before people can start playing this game. But now I'm going to talk to you about some of the epic bonuses that they unlocked by their stretch goals. So firstly, a live orchestra recording will be used for all of the soundtrack. All of the music and every song that you hear in Re-Legend has been recorded live by an orchestra, which I think is fantastic. There will also be a brand new player shop where you can buy things for your characters and customise them as much as you like. There will also be a full advanced house customisation, which means you can customise your house to however you like. There will be a hidden legendary Magnus inside of Vokka Island for you to find. All NPCs will have voice acting, so every character in the game that you talk to will talk back to you with a full voice acted character, which I think is very unique to a game like this. 
There will also be a brand new underwater biome with new Magnus, quests and collectibles to find. And because of the stretch goals being reached, this means ReLegend will also be definitely coming to Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and Xbox as well as PC. There will be some new Bachelor and Bachelorettes that you can marry and be loved in the game. There are some brand new weapon classes that you can now choose from. There will also be a new random final dungeon at the end game. And speaking of end game, there will also be a random end game boss that you can defeat, which I'm guessing may be in the dungeon. But lastly, they have extended the actual end game itself. So the game is going to be longer. So they are the stretch goal bonuses. They reached every single one of them, completed it, wiped it out. So they are going to be extras in the game that wasn't going to be planned unless they got the funding for it. So I think that is everything I can say about this game so far. There's not really been much more leaked or revealed. They are trying to keep it on the low as much as possible. They had a lot of setbacks. I'm not sure when this game will be coming out. I'm not sure if it's going to be the end of this year or the start of next. That is what they are aiming for. But we will expect to see this very soon. And I can't wait because this game looks incredible. Hopefully you guys like the looks of this game if you don't know what this is. But I know there's a lot of you that do. I can't believe I had no idea about this game. If I knew this game existed, I would have put this in my top 5 in the previous video that I did. And it probably would have came first or second because it just looks fantastic. But that is all I've got time for. That is the brand new upcoming farming RPG game called Re-Legend. It looks fantastic. If you enjoyed it and you like the looks of it, smash that like button guys let me know down below if you will be purchasing this and playing this once it's released or let me know if there's any other game that you're more excited to play rather than this make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new around here to see similar content like this but right now i'm going to play out the full trailer of this game so you can enjoy the looks of it thank you all for watching it's been me the king of the sea and i'll see you all on the next one bye bye Thank <laughs> you.